Hello artists! I am going to draw and paint colorful cacti in a beautiful colorful pot. You will need watercolor paint, your brushes, a thick piece of paper, and I'm using a half sheet, so I've cut a piece in half. You can use a half sheet or a whole sheet. And I've got my water. I have half a container of cold water and a Sharpie. So I'm drawing out a pot. You can draw your pot any shape you want. Be creative, have fun. I have decided to create some zigzag lines and some different shapes and motifs on my pot. The more shapes and sections I create, the more opportunities I will have to mix and use different colors in my painting. Next, I'm drawing some cacti and succulents. So I'm starting off by creating a succulent. I'm creating the different leaves and then I'm drawing a cactus. I've decided to draw little spikes on my cactus and I think I will create a flower as well. So I'm drawing a cactus flower. You can create any kind of cactus or any kind of plant that you can imagine. I'm creating a line here to represent that the pot is on a table. And then I'm going to create lines down. This looks like a tablecloth and it's also going to give me lots of chances to use different colors in each of the stripes. I'm also going to create an insect. I'm gonna create a bee and I'm going to draw a broken line to show the path where the bee flew. Now that I have my ink drawing completed, I am ready to paint. I've already sprinkled water into each one of my colors so they are wetted. And I am starting to paint the different sections of my succulent and cactus. So if you notice, I'm using a pure green and then I'm adding water to my brush and I'm going in and I'm making it lighter in some places and darker in some places so that I have contrast. I am mixing a new color of green for my cacti. So I added some blue and some green and I'm going ahead and painting it in. And I like that it's a different color than the succulent because it's going to have some variety. I'm adding some more layers and darkening up certain areas. And then I'm gonna go in and paint all of the different elements that I've drawn with the Sharpie. The flower, the different designs in the pot, the stripes on the tablecloth, and I'm gonna mix lots of different colors and try not to reuse the exact same color in any of my sections. Remember that you can use the lid of your paint set as a mixing palette and you can mix different colors there. You can also mix colors right on your paper using the wet on wet technique. One thing you wanna make sure of is to keep your brush clean when you're switching colors. You want the paints in your palette to stay pure. Take your time and enjoy your painting. Try out new ideas, experiment, Really just let your ideas flow and have fun. When you're done, remember to leave your watercolor set opened until it completely dries. Put your painting and your watercolor paint set somewhere where no animals or younger children or older brothers and sisters might get into it or knock it over. When everything's 
completely dry. Make sure you put everything away and clean up after yourself really thoroughly. That is part of being an artist. The last thing I'm doing is I'm creating a little watercolor wash for the background because I don't want it to be completely white. So I'm adding a lot of water to the blue and just adding just a touch of color in the background. Enjoy your painting process and take a picture and share when you're done.